More than two years after Freddie Gray's death, the five Baltimore police officers involved in the high-profile case are now facing departmental charges, and some could be fired. WJZ Live Outside City Police Headquarters, Kimberly Eaton has the latest on possible punishments. Kimberly? And Denise, an internal investigation found those five officers did break the rules during the arrest of Freddie Gray, and even though they were cleared in the court system, three of them could now lose their jobs. Five Baltimore City police officers face new charges in the death of Freddie Gray, this time from their own department. First reported by our media partners at the Baltimore Sun, Officer Caesar Goodson could be fired. He drove the van where Freddie Gray sustained injuries that would cost him his life. Also facing firing, Lieutenant Brian Rice and Sergeant Alicia White. Lesser charges for officers Edward Nero and Garrett Miller, shown on cell phone video as they arrested Gray more than two years ago. Now they are looking at five days suspension without pay. The sixth officer, William Porter, charged with manslaughter in Baltimore's court system, later cleared in a mistrial, is not facing any internal discipline. The trial stays here. Prosecutors initially charged the six officers, but after one mistrial and three acquittals, dropped the remaining cases. WJZ reported last July that may not be enough to save the officers' jobs. With the court cases completed, an internal investigation then in the hands of Montgomery and Howard County Police Departments. Their report turned over to city police just 10 days ago. Now the officers' fate is in the hands of their boss, the city's top cop, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis. And tonight, police are not talking. Sources tell WJZ the officers can either accept their punishment or choose to fight it in front of an in internal trial board. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore tonight, I'm Kimberly in WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Kimberly. Now, a short time ago, Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby released a statement about the officers being disciplined. And in part, she says, and I quote, I am relieved to know that a majority of those involved will be held administratively accountable for their actions.